how to migrate your website with SiteGround. Hi everyone, my name is Nazreen and today I will show you how to migrate your website from another hosting to SiteGround or SiteGround to SiteGround. So today I would like to show you a subdomain which I have created. So this is a website I did for my past clients. Uh, he apparently don't want the website anymore, but I will ju just do this. I will just use this as an example to migrate a site. Okay, this is actually a website uh, from another hosting. Uh, I have a SiteGround uh, account which I will show you and uh, how to migrate the SiteGround by using SiteGround plugin. Okay, so if you don't know, SiteGround has its own migrator plugin which helps you to migrate your site within seconds. Trust me, it's, it, it is within seconds. I will show you how easy it is. Alright, so in uh, this website, you need to go to the back end and then I uh, can't remember what's the password. Oh, it's auto populated. Uh, what's the password? Uh, come on. Yeah, okay. So. This will be the back-end dashboard of how you, you will see in all WordPress uh, back-end. Go to plugins and you may need to download the Migrator plugin. Okay, add new, type here Migrator. It will appear in the very first one, yeah? which is uh, SiteGround Migrator. Uh, click install now and then you go to activate it once done. Okay. All right, so it's already installed and activated. Where is it? Yeah, here. As you can see, there's SG Migrator. Okay, click on it. All right, so here they are asking for a token. So this token, you may need to get it from your SiteGround dashboard backend. So this is my SiteGround dashboard backend. You will see something like this. Welcome, Nazreen. Have a productive time today. So what you will do, you go to websites. Um, I will be creating a temporary uh, domain. Okay. So this is just for an example. So it will be Nazreen D1.sg-host.com. This is just temporary. So don't worry. So I'll continue. So you they, they ask you, you want to start a new site or you want to migrate site. So click on migrate website and then click on WordPress auto migration. This will enable you to use the migrator plugin. Don't click on this one. This one will be a manual way of doing things. Of course, if you want to, if you know how to do the database, PHP, my admin, then by all means you click on this one. But I would suggest to click on this for your ease, for the ease of things. Okay. Okay, so when you click continue, they will give you a migrator token. Oh, you need to click one more. Finish. Okay, creating your site. So that means prepare the staging site for uh, the the initial website to be transferred into this uh, staging site. So less than two minutes. Let's just wait. Uh, it's not gonna, not, not gonna take a while. Come on, come on. It's, it, so we wait for a while as SiteGround is generating the token. Uh, it says it takes less than two minutes. Let's see if they keep up to their promise. Two minutes is 120 seconds. Come on SiteGround! So how are you guys doing? While waiting for this, we can chit chat about uh, my life. Today it is uh, Tuesday, sorry it's Wednesday. Uh, 18 ah that okay enough of the chit chat here you are all set so they asked you to download the plugin we already did so we get, you get the migration token click copy okay after which you go to the website and copy and paste it here okay this will be the email that I use to you know install a website initiate transfer okay when you do that it will ask you are you sure you want to know why it migrate to this domain? Which is correct. This is my temporary domain that I have set. So click continue. And yeah, within seconds. Okay, I, I, I think I, I'm, I lied to you. It's not really seconds, maybe about a minute or two max. Depending on how big the website is. 
So this website is not that big, it's just a lander. So it will take about maybe two minutes. But it's better than two days, right? Two minutes is it's it's very fairly good uh, time to wait for migration process. But always check. Uh, one big tip, always check if the new site is properly migrated because if you don't then it will be an issue so I'm gonna cut this video and uh, just, just, just just imagine that uh, it's already two minutes okay so voila it's done transfer completed successfully so that means uh, it is already transferred to the domain and it will take about 48 hours to check on the new location and uh, right now um, you know they ask you to point the server uh, but not to worry because um, there's nothing to point because it's a temporary uh, temporary domain uh, I will share about domain some in future videos so um, as you can see it's done so when you go back to the account to your site ground dashboard you go to your website and go to the temporary domain and test it so this is the temporary domain okay we'll just copy then put a new tab and paste it should look the same oh. yeah. there you go 3b ventures in on your new domain so yeah that's about it I hope you like this video. It is as simple as one, two, three, A, B, C. If you are unsure about how the process is gonna be like, uh, do give a comment and then ask, or, or you can just uh, you know add me on LinkedIn, or let's just be friends and then we can really chat and talk about things. As I love everything about web design, migration, uh, development, design, so we can chat. And uh, if you like this video, remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Ciao.